This poem imagines the life and times of a mountain spring in the southeast Balkans, not far from the Bosphorus on the Black Sea. Today it's part of a no man's land between two countries. It's part of a frontier region. But for millennia it witnessed, or so the poem imagines, migrations of different kinds, starting almost 50,000 years ago with the first settlers in Europe. It's known as cold water. At the beginning was the mountain. Inside the mountain, a spring that later would be called cold water. But for the first million years or so, it had no name, and neither did the bear, jackal, wolf that came to drink, their eyes like stars in the humanless cosmos, nor the storks that would briefly eclipse the autumn skies of local childhoods. One day, the first among us would arrive from Africa, Arabia, across the strait the Greeks would later name the Bosphorus. A child would bed down and drink from cold water. The glaciers would be yet to come to the north, creatures to disappear. 30,000 years would pass. We would gather and hunt, obscure and fruitful in the mountains. Then others would arrive, their feet beating anew the old path and the black glistening buffalo of future centuries who won't stop but walk uphill on their knees when the columns of refugees would pass between one war and another their lives packed in a cart a barbed fence would rise near cold water one day to cut the mountain in two cold water would remain in no man's land the Greeks would be long gone the barbed fence later sold for scrap. One day a child would bend down and drink, his mother too, their lives packed in a rucksack, tired as if they'd walked millennia, climbed mountains on their knees, the smuggler urging them on with the others because the guards are armed, history's bomb is ticking, there is no way back. At cold water, Someone built a stone bed for the stream. Storks eclipse the sky to Africa. The glaciers are melting again. Creatures disappearing. Continents spill their people into the sea. And though our bones are dust, we are still walking. It takes forever to arrive once you have left. Our consolation is to bend down and drink the cold water of eternity, everything begins with the spring.